Hi, I'm Phil Ashey from the American Anglican Council with your weekly Anglican Perspective. I just finished reading an article that suggested that in the year 2030, the number of people who identify themselves as atheists, agnostics, or people of a non-Christian faith will outnumber Christians in Britain. Now, uh, the United States uh, is not the same culture and uh, the same country, but we're on the same trajectory. And it does raise the question in our minds about what it means for us as Anglican followers of Jesus to live in a post-Christendom age when the majority of people do not share the same spiritual and moral convictions and faith convictions that we do. Is that a disaster? Well, I want to suggest to you that it's not because that was the same situation that the first Christians found themselves in when Paul wrote to the church in Corinth as it was exploding with growth. And what he pointed out is that we unabashedly share Jesus Christ, crucified and risen from the dead, and we continue to point people to Jesus, people who've never heard of him, people who don't know the basic facts about the Bible. Paul put it this way in 1 Corinthians 1, verse 25. He said, We preach Christ crucified a stumbling block to Jews and foolishness to Gentiles, but to those whom God has called, both the Jews and Greeks, Christ the power of God and the wisdom of God. For the foolishness of God is wiser than man's wisdom, and the weakness of God is stronger than man's strength. So we need not be intimidated by the wisdom of the world or the strength of man or the hardness and tone deafness of the culture. But let us continue to preach Christ crucified and risen from the dead. Yeah.